open source world, I hope we are loud enough to, to get hurt. Well, today we have, we have Simon Tennant. Simon, could you tell us a few words about yourself? <laughs> a few words about myself? Well, I'm here at FOSDEM. I lead and I set up the BuddyCloud Open Social Network project. And um, this is a project that is trying to build a, an open social network for users. Okay, so what was your motivation for BuddyCloud? Oh, it, there's a long, long history to BuddyCloud. We set it up uh, about three years ago as a very different social network. It was a closed social network. Um, and it let users share their location with each other in a way that they could control. So for example, it would say, I'm at home, or I'm at work, or I'm traveling. Um, and then we built social so features on top of it. it. Yeah. And then um, we realized, you know what? We, we have this, this power to create this network. Maybe we should rethink it and build it as a federated open social network so that mm -hmm. anybody can take this and build it themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and they can take the source code, they can download it, and they can run their own buddy cloud. And that's really powerful. I think that's the way uh, companies like Buddy Cloud will make a difference to social networks mm -hmm. by making everybody um, able to run their own social network, able to improve the code. Oh, it sounds pretty nice. What is the thing that really makes you happy about Buddy Cloud? If you imagine what you're doing and um, what you're realizing, what is the thing that makes you really happy about Body Cloud? The thing that really gets me excited is seeing users connect with other users. <laughs> Knowing that people from all over the world are connecting and joining this global conversation about different topics or about their private lives with people they trust. Um, that's really nice when you can see that, you know, you get this little post of somebody's posting from London, another person is posting from Padova in Italy, um, somebody, we've, we've had users from almost every single country and it's lovely seeing these people connect. <laughs> Great. If you think, Simon, about the future, if you think about the future of Body Cloud uh, in terms of Acta, what would you tell to, your, to the open source world? <laughs> well, are you afraid of it? I'm really not afraid of it. I think it's, it's, it's super exciting working on projects like BuddyCloud because um, there are these laws that are set up around a single website to do takedowns. And that's great. They can take down a single website. But you take down one BuddyCloud instance, 10 more will spring up. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you think about um, some of the protests going on, on, on in Egypt, um, you know, Twitter was, there, was, there were network outages, Twitter was out. Um, any of these centralized services, you can chop them off or you can ban them. And in fact, Twitter recently had their new, um, uh, what was it, regional censorship thing that they brought in. Um, the beauty of this is that um, you can you can try and sense the buddy card in one country, but users can still access it um, just through another interface or another web client. So it's very, very hard to take down buddy cloud. <laughs> that sounds nice and that gives the people hope, I think. Yes. That sounds really full of hope. Well, Simon, I think that's all. Thank you very much for giving us the possibility to interview with. I'm very happy about it. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>